Hello everyone, I am Martin Fenska and welcome to another part of Let's Play Eador, Masters of the Broken World on Overlord Difficulty. In the previous part we managed to get uh, one uh, desert provinces and we had some uh, interesting fights and also we revealed uh, this free settlement in the third ring. Uh, th this province is uh, really quite interesting for us. It's a uh, province that gives plus 3 to gem income, which is actually quite unusual to have so much uh, from uh, unconquered province. You know, once you get the province, you can increase uh, gem income easily. But a province without the resource that's not conquered yet, having plus 3 to gems, that's pretty good. So, in this part, I'd like to take it. Uh, in fact, that's gonna be the first thing I'm gonna try. Uh, attack the province. Uh, not with the scout though. He's gonna keep exploring the desert and uh, after we get this province uh, We'll see first. Yeah, three locations here. So maybe if you get lucky we can uh, Attack something here though. I don't think that in the third ring. There is anything you can actually handle right now uh, So probably just uh, move back. It would have to be something like militia. It's probably all we can handle in the third ring at the moment. So after we get this province, we move back um, and um, we either stay in the desert if uh, the scout gets, uh, gives us some more targets, or we can move to the south and grab the second uh, desert. I just want to keep the uh, command busy until we get uh, some more locations here, and we will get more locations here. It's a desert, so it shouldn't be a problem. Should be. Uh, quite a lot of locations. So we can start, but uh, actually one more thing before we start. I want to answer a question from comments. Why I'm not using um, uh, granaries? Uh, we have a province that's exported to 100%, so why uh, I don't build granary? Well, I usually don't have room for granaries in my provinces because um, what I build is uh, I usually want the pop in every province for the boost to population mood uh, then I want some kind of economy buildings everywhere except the swamps where you, where you don't have any swamp specific uh, uh, building that would give you income and um, then the third building that's either uh, I like storehouse or depending on which races there can be uh, something that reduces uh, corruption and because you can have uh, a maximum of three provincial buildings I just don't build granaries usually but uh, well, maybe this early for the first uh, non-capital province that we have exported to 100% it might be worth it because before we get to storehouses or anything else I would want to build here it's probably worth it, it's not that expensive, but on the other hand, like we won't get uh, benefit from the granary uh, once uh, um, the province grows to its maximum size, so I don't know, like, it's only 20 gold, but still, often uh, 20 gold is actually quite important, you know, kind of speed things up by a turn here and there. So, yeah, don't think the the building is uh, that good or that it speeds the growth uh, enough. Uh, even with, uh, I mean, even without it, province is growing quite fast. So, yeah, just not good enough, I would say, or there's not enough room in provinces. That would maybe be like a fourth building I would be building in provinces. Uh, at least in those that I would explore to 100%, but um, yeah, uh, with uh, how the things are right now, just too much competition uh, between those provincial buildings. So that's that, and um, we can finally get uh, to some combat. Uh, how, how long? Three turns for extravaganza? Yeah, we'll need it in this province, and I'm really not sure that we'll be able to uh handle this uh this problem oh we'll see and um, can we build anything we can build something but yeah, we have all we need at the moment i was considering the uh, the granary here but i don't think it's worth it it really seems to me that the province is growing quite quite fast 
I'd rather save the money. Okay. So, now we can end the turn. Let's see. Oh, that's quite a lot of units. I oh, should be able to handle it. I hope. Oh, the question is... don't like this hill at all. I think I'll have to move. I like this position. I really like it quite a lot. But this hill, uh, there will be a bowman standing on this hill. It's like guaranteed. And um, 2, 4, 6. He would be in range of both healers. Just can't allow that. I don't want to uh, waste uh, both my fatigues on one bowman. Probably need it for something else. Uh, it's probably better to move um, up. Uh, 28, 26. And how does it look like here? Actually, I may need the hero in the front line. How does it look like with these defenses? Actually, He's on par with our barbarians almost. Yeah, I think he can stay in the front line. And there won't be that many units coming this way. Okay, uh, this looks good, I think. So let's start. Yeah, that's a lot of units. Uh, three spearmen. One, two, three, four. Okay, you have to make sure that uh, the range units don't get too close to our healers. Uh, what do we start with? Uh, 2, 4, 6. Uh, you can shoot, that's fine. I think I just have to check what they're gonna do. That's fine, we can heal that. Let's uh, force him into the forest march. I should probably check. You have forest march, you have forest march as well. That sucks. Or maybe. Actually, that means they will be on us uh, on this turn. And we'll be able to kill them before anything else comes. Maybe it's not that bad. Uh, and I think I'll have to start breaking on the crossbowman. What does it look like with double shots, by the way? Mm, you have double shot. Oh, it's a swamp here? Both these tiles? Okay. At least that means um, uh, the range units won't be moving any closer. So, you definitely need a heal. That's uh, what we're gonna start with. And what about you? You can probably move forward. Okay. This should be an easy kill. You're missing only three hit points, so that's not worth it wasting a heal. Okay, looks good. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt a lot. Wow. I didn't see that coming. Like, do they all have forced march? Oh, the bikeman doesn't have it. I was close. as much healing as possible there. Oh, I've heard it as well. Why are we taking so much damage? 
actually I may have to web this guy. You can attack. You guys can both attack. I think you are fine. Yeah, I wasn't able to like keep all the wrench units together, so wasn't able to focus attacks enough. Still was dangerous, but uh, yeah, it wasn't wasn't quite enough. Let's see what now. Uh, hero should probably start retreating slowly. I didn't want to move with uh, the barbarian, but I think it's fine. Will have to retreat. I need some healing. Okay, this is the highest priority. Oh, the swordsman can't do anything, and I think I still want to weaken the crossbowman further. Good, so basically I have just one unit now that can really cause problems with this slinger. You just have to take some damage from the pikeman. Don't want to attack him yet. This may take a while. We are running low on stamina. Oh, but I forgot to turn around. Damn. They still can do a lot of damage when they focus all their attacks. Do I need another heal for this guy? I oh, probably rather do it. Um, you just have to rest here. That's a good chance for the hero to attack. Uh, you can get a kill. I'm thinking about sending this guy forward, but. Uh, I'd rather send more than one. I think I'll just wait uh, and um, when all the melee units are down, I'll just send everything. Okay, now we can take the pikeman out. We just wait. Mm, let's see. Can we 
kill the militiaman. Yeah, we can. Good. And how many heals do we have? Probably want to save these heals for the hero and this barbarian if possible. Uh, I have to start doing something. This will take way too long. Okay, you can move. Um, maybe they will come to me attacking melee. That would be amazing. So let's try to move closer. Uh, damn, this fight is annoying. Oh, this is what I wanted. Nice. And the crossbowman as well as possible. Perfect. So that worked. Mm -hmm. okay, let's kill the crossbowman. It's definitely more dangerous. And uh, attack this guy, I think. I need one more unit. But I think it will be the hero. Actually, let's send the healer forward. Uh, we will need one more heal. Actually, it doesn't have any heals left. Eh, I thought we have one more available. Okay, in that case, you're gonna heal the hero, and I hope can handle it just with these two guys and it should be fine or <sighs> maybe not oh okay it was enough I was afraid that the counter attack won't be strong enough with one uh, stamina left but it was so managed to get the province uh, that was really annoying fight but um, yeah that's uh, the desert conditions um, uh, usually it's easier to fight uh, armies that have only a few strong units than fighting a huge armies of weaker units because uh, you need a lot more stamina for these small units that are everywhere so that um, and that's what caused um, us problems in the end uh, okay but um, you should get quite a lot of experience so let's hope for some good level ups um, command and mm, this is a tough one I think I'll still go for more damage. Oh, the melee defense is really important. Uh, we have barbarians, we have to kill them before they kill us, just all in damage. Uh, this will be s double stamina, two hit points. And do we want a hero's cross for barbarian? Well, that's unexpected. I wonder which one it is who gets so many kills that uh, got the hero's cross. Um, it's um, probably it's the best medal in the game for almost all units. Uh, but uh, yeah, the price. Um, I don't think we want to pay ten gold for the medal yet. Later for high tier units, if you can get this three times on something like I don't know, like Minotaur. Uh, then it's amazing, but not on Barbarian, I just, I'm not gonna pay that much. Uh, but it really hurts just refusing the medal, you, know, you don't get Heroes Cross that often, so. Well, well let's move on. Uh, this healer will get range defense, uh, range attack for the Barbarian, and hey, more money. Good, keep exploring. But to be honest, I'd rather uh, get um, some locations than just uh, uh, flat gold. Use these barbarians and the locations here. Oh, brigands. Uh, we were barely able to handle um, to handle the militia, the guard, 
and brigands, proper tier 3 brigands, that would be thugs with assassins and uh, lots and lots of other units. Um, ah, we can't do that. Okay, that means we are moving back uh, for now to the desert, but we'll most likely have to move uh, once more. Uh, we can't attack anything here. Desert trolls are immune to the desert uh, conditions, so um, we won't be able to uh, to like kite them and make them lose all all the stamina. Doesn't work on these. Okay, so what can we do? We have almost 600. Probably will start working on the fourth slowly. Let's build a totem. We have to build four of these before we can get to the uh, to the fort. So let's um, build the tier one buildings and then we just save up for the fort. I think. Wow, really 6% explore it and nothing in the desert? Come on. Okay, that means we are moving down. At least uh, we have time to heal up. Or actually, um, with uh, this level up, with the command that we got from it, uh, it means we can grab two more units. And it might be worth it. Uh, we are waiting for those locations anyway. Maybe you could just go back to the capital. I know it's um, like one, two, three, four, five wasted turns. I kind of want those units. Yeah, let's go back. Two units, um, that's a lot, especially this one of them will be a healer. Troller, it should be uh, Desert Trolls again, and the other one was Bandits. We can do Bandits, definitely. Here is that Extravaganza, so let's use it. Actually, I didn't realize that uh, Province is a forest. Like, worst case scenario, we can build Enchanted Grove and hire uh, forest spirits that would solve the problem very easily. But I want to wait with this uh, like one turn before uh, we would have a rebel in here. I'd probably do it. So we have how long? Like 30 turns. Ah, it should be fine. Okay, next. More locations. Come on. Uh, Unholy Shrine, Ghost Town. Um, barbar oh, nice! I didn't expect we'll get bar uh, we'd get barbarians in the shrine, and uh, oh, on that we can probably handle on that. Proper tier two on that we should be able to handle. Just vap uh, the ghoul, and kill it before it can do any damage, and uh, just heal through the uh, through the rest, even in the desert. Okay. So now we take a third healer, another barbarian. I probably keep this spell set up. It works quite well. Maybe, actually, 
we could now uh, attack some uh, more locations here, like the mono uh, these monoliths uh, are tempting. So uh, we have uh, really good gem income. I think I'd rather head back already. Maybe you can wait with these locations uh, because we will have to come back uh, at some point anyway again. Um, and probably the next time we are going back it will be for a tier 2 units. So maybe you could um, pick up like f first one or two levels for our tier 2 units from these fights. It's probably a good idea to leave something easier uh, for the first few fights. Okay, so we're heading out. Maybe I could um, build stables now when we are leaving. Speeds up hero movement from the capital province by one. Speeds up hero movement from capital province by one. Um, I think if we can save a turn by building this, I think we can. We are. We will be fa passing only through a forest. Yeah, we can. Good. And um, we need that, uh, to build that uh, uh, building at some point anyway. It's required for quite a few things. So, may as well do it now and save the turn. Okay, go. Cool. These are nomads, and this should be fine, as long as we survive uh, horse archers, like one turn. We should be okay, and I think we can protect our healers from this. Uh, yeah, that's fine. It should be easier than the, uh, than the other desert. Let's see, they have two horse archers. I probably don't want to stay here. Okay, this is our new barbarian, so I have to protect him. Where is the weakest healer? Uh, here. He's gonna be here, and we need some strong healing right here. This is really bad position, but I have to make sure that um, our healers uh, are out of range. Maybe we can move. Um, this healer a bit will be better. Okay, because um, he moved quite far away, we should be able to fight uh, like uh, two separate fights: uh, horse archers first, then those um, spearmen and slingers should run out of stamina uh, pretty quickly. This is something we have to do. I can't afford them. I can't allow them to. Uh, uh, or I can't have them both come in range of my healers at the same time. That's what I wanted to say. Yeah. I expected that. That's why I didn't want this one to attack um, this healer as well. Okay. So you're going to heal yourself. And... I have to do this. I 
just hope uh, that uh, healer won't take too much damage uh, while standing in the forest. He is in range of those slingers, but um, he has range defense 4 and 15 hit points. I just can't kill him or even do like serious damage. No way. Oh, they're not even moving. At least one of them is not moving. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, and why would you move there? Mm -hmm. Okay, you move back. I need some healing. Now. <sighs> no way. Come on, can't just kill him. Okay, let's um, heal this healer and I'll focus on him. I'll try to uh, get one medal for him as fast as possible. And this barbarian, that's a good opportunity. I'll probably need all four heals for him. So I'll just um, leave them there, leave him do the job. And here, let's attack. And I think I'm gonna web this guy. Just want to make sure this barbarian uh, survives. He would probably even without that web, but yeah. Want to make sure. Also, I should make uh, sure that. Uh, the spearman can't hit my healers. I didn't see that at all. I was so focused on the barbarian that I just ignored the healer basically. Well, good that he's tanky enough. Um, hmm. Now we can finally kill the horse archer. Do some more damage here. You start healing, and you should probably heal yourself. Okay. And we have astral energy. Uh, now the question is, do you want to use it? Probably want to use it here. I'll need two barbarians uh, in this area. Okay, go. So, uh, the army grows, it's harder and harder to make sure that uh, they can't focus their attacks. So. Uh, it will be uh, happening more often that I just overlook something. There are just way too many units on the map uh, now. But does, it doesn't mean it's not a mistake. If it of course is, but yeah, sometimes it's hard to see. Okay, we have two more heals, and I want those heals to be as effective as possible. Um, means we need something with more damage. You can come closer. We'll be fine. Just block the path here. And we wait. Okay, so we can't do more than this, uh, at least with this healer. Well, that's enough. Let's um, finish the fight. And here it is. I definitely take it. That's what we came for. Good, so that was uh, much easier than the, uh, than the second healer, the cursed one that didn't get the medal for like, I don't know, seven or eight fights, even though I was trying really hard to get it. This is how it should be.
good. Uh, you keep exploring. And here we have bandits and gargoyles. I'm not sure about gargoyles, though, in the second ring. That should be like three or four. And they are affected by the stamina loss or extra stamina loss from the desert. So uh, we should be able to do this as well. Just heal through the damage. Yeah, that's good. Uh, both locations should be doable for us. Um, maybe we even start with those gargoyles. Maybe even easier than those uh, bandits. What does it look like? Huh. Healed most of the damage. Maybe we can do bandits first. Uh, as long as they are proper tier 2 bandits, uh, it should be easy as well. Okay. So now uh, we just um, clear all locations that we get in these deserts, or all that uh, we are capable of clearing, of course. And after that, um, I hope these locations give us give us enough gold to finally get uh, to tier two units. I said that the first one will be assassin, and I'm still thinking what's going to be the core uh, of the army if I'll take. Um, uh, fighter barrack and tags as I usually do or if uh, I just go assassins with um, with demons I'm not sure how our healers would handle demons in the army it's probably it probably doesn't matter like tags barbarians and demons should probably just decrease the morale the same there's no, no difference like that uh, demons are more evil than, uh, I don't know, barbarians, even though it should be that way. So maybe you can take whatever we want. Well, maybe, uh, guys, so let me know. Do you want uh, uh, me to take, uh, you know, assassin tags and um, healers as support uh, the more usual uh, way how I build this army? Or should I try to get the Temple of Chaos. We now have decent gem income, so uh, we should be able to uh, get some demons and um, try that. Try how healers and demons will work together. Yeah, and once we get the tier 2 units, we will start looking for a way uh, to Dorikos. How is he doing? Uh, oh, here. He's almost in the corner and he started somewhere around here. He is in the third ring. Yeah, definitely. Maybe even if in the fourth ring. But I have a feeling that he got lucky with some free settlements. But still, he's doing quite well. So, you'll see. But it's still. Uh, quite a few turns away before we can even start thinking about getting getting to him. First, as I said, we have to get the proper army. So, uh, let me know which units you want uh, me to take. And uh, because we still are not even close, actually, to level 10, uh, you can still think about uh, the specialization you want me to play. Uh, as I said, I don't mind uh, playing basically anything here. Maybe, like... Um, uh, commander, scout, hybrid, but be the best for units that we want to take. But I would probably even play that if uh, you would uh, want to see it. So let me know. And um, I hope that you still like this part. Join me for the next one again. And until then, have a good time. Bye bye.